My culinary skills are, are terrible. I can barely even say the word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cooking kind of stresses me out. Uh, I'm a big fan of ordering food um, and having it delivered. She's all about convenience. Yeah, exactly. Vanessa, first of all, congratulations, girl. How are you feeling? Because you look amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, feeling great. It was a really, <laughs> really special night. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You walked out on that red carpet and I was like, do I want another one? Because she's making it look so good. And then I remembered having the first one. I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> um, Evelyn, now it's so good to see you again, love. Uh, of course, we had a chance to chat in person, but now that we're here with the gang, I have to say, I love that your character is in the middle of this triangle. So I'm curious to know if Vanessa and Zach ever actually went method and ever tried to get your attention in real life for your friendship. <laughs> I don't know if it was them getting method, but I I I sure thought they that that they were you know so lovely to be with. I just I I I, I wouldn't be able to decide. You know, sometimes people are like, "Are you Team Vanessa? Are you are you <laughs> Gordon or are you Team Ruby?" And I'm like, I can't say. I love I'm I'm in love with both. You know, <laughs> fair enough. Such a Canadian thing to say, uh, Vanessa. I have to say though, <laughs> I am a impressed with the French. I mean, both you and Zach, but you really brought it. And listen, I, my daughter speaks French fluently. So I'm like, I can tell when someone is really good or someone's like, you know, but you were like, you nailed it. So how fun was it for you to take on Canada's second official language? It was great. I mean, like, I always love working in accents in different languages. I think it's like a really special thing to be able to do. And I think having a musical background really helps me out a bit because um, mm -hmm. I can hear things a little differently and can interpret them almost like a song. And uh, I had really amazing help. Everybody there really knew what they were doing. So if anything sounds <laughs> funky, they would definitely let me know. Yeah, well, you killed it. Um, Zach, I re like when I spoke to Evelyn recently, she said that you are an improv genius because here's what I said to her saying you know when you watch the film and you hear the the conversations and the dialogue obviously we know there's a script but then there's these moments with you where I'm like Mm -mm, that ain't no script that is him improvising and you know sometimes you need that comfort to be there to be able to do that so what made it so comfortable for you to be able to tap into that because you were spitting lines that I was like that is coming straight from his head and his heart thank you very much that's just my the directors were so wonderful you know um they created James and Nick they created this environment where it where it feels like you have a safety net and there's no wrong answer. You can really be safe to play. And I think mm -hmm. myself, when I'm directing people, that's the environment I want to create for the actors. Like, hey guys, you are totally safe here. There's no wrong answer. Like be free to play. And sometimes it'll be too much and we won't use it. Don't worry, but create this. And sometimes you'll improv something. It'll go off and be a dead end. And don't worry, we're going to use that. But it, 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 I love that, that, way to create comedy because i think in my experience that's when you know the script is just the script and and you get it because it's obviously in this case it was incredible but there's so many extra you get all these funny people in a room together they're going to bring they're they've they've channeled the character they're going to bring so much extra stuff and when i'm a, when i'm the filmmaker i always want that stuff i'm like i was just one guy in a room writing this i want all of your funny ideas too um, so, so you try not to be too precious about, about what you wrote. Um, yeah. so that, to credit them, it was really the environment they created. Yeah, you were so brilliant. There were honestly so many moments that I was like fully laughing out loud and I was watching the film quietly in my office. And then I had a couple of people like be like, what are you watching? I'm like, you guys gonna watch this, this is so good. So it was so brilliant. Evelyn, obviously in the film, you are this, you know, really well-known chef, but I didn't get a chance to ask you this girl, but what are your culinary skills like in real life? I think if uh, if Sophie's a 10, maybe I'm a five. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad. <laughs> like I'm a Tuesday night cook. I cook for my kids. If I if I try too hard, they don't like it. So I I I stay at like the 30 minute level is when I go above yes. that and it gets complicated. And they're like, "What's this taste?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's caramelized this and that." And they're like, "Meh." Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you, you know, know what? what? I went to a restaurant called Montreal Plaza to um 
to uh, um, sort of look at what the chef was doing and get the vibe. And there was a culinary sort of specialist on set that would help us also to make it mm. as scrumptious as it looks. You know what, when in doubt, I just say, even if it's mac and cheese, I just take the Parmesan cheese and I just go, voila. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, there you have it. Um, but as I, I have to ask as well, like, what are your culinary skills like? And girl, what are you craving right now? Because I know, I know you were craving something. My cravings were nuts. My culinary skills are, are terrible. I can barely even say the word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cooking kind of stresses me out. Uh, I'm a big fan of ordering food um, and having it delivered. Uh, She's all about convenience. Yeah, exactly. Every now and then I'll have the moment where I'm like feeling myself and I'll go to the grocery store and come home and put on some jazz music and just make it a vibe for myself. But yes. I feel like the day to day grind of, of cooking is just yeah. lost on me. <laughs> well, listen, right now you are definitely allowed to order whatever you want. Get all the rest you need and enjoy this ride. Um, and Zach, I know I have to wrap really quickly, but I have a, I have a feeling you're really good in the kitchen. Absolutely not. No, I'm, I'm on TV. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I love Twitter and uh, I love when I have a friend who cooks for me, but I do not touch the stove myself. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.